hi there ladies and gentlemen the topic for discussion in this video is multiple linear regression analysis before i before i discuss how to run multiple linear regression model and how to interpret their results let me explain what multi multiple linear regression is the definition of multiple linear regression model is that it is concerned with the study of the dependence of a dependent variable on one or more than one independent variable with a view to estimating or predicting the population mean or average value of the dependent variable in terms of the known or fixed values of independent variable. Uh, uh, in this slide, you can see simple linear regression model and uh, multiple linear regression model. Uh, equation number one shows simple linear regression model. We call this simple linear model because there are only two variables involved. Yj is the dependent variable, where Fj is the independent variable. Beta naught and beta one are coefficients. Beta naught is the intercept term, and beta one is the regression coefficient. And uh, lastly, epsilon j is the random error term. Now, multiple linear regression model is a little bit different than the simple linear model. In multiple linear regression model, there are more than one independent variable. And uh, if you look at equation number two, in this equation, there are many x variables. And uh, I have written this model uh, in this way, uh, which can be seen as uh, equation number two, uh, yi is equal to beta naught plus beta one x one j plus beta two x two j plus up to beta k x k j plus epsilon. Uh, this model can also be written in short form, and uh, equation number three shows the short form of uh, multiple linear regression model. In these two models, yi is the dependent variable, xi are the independent variables. Epsilon i is the random error term, which is also known as stochastic error term. Beta naught is the constant of the model. It is also known as the intercept. Beta i's are the regression coefficients. Uh, let me use uh, the example which I discussed yesterday in uh, my earlier video on uh, simple linear regression model. Uh, and in this table, you see there are uh, two variables. X is the advertising expenditure of the firm. Y is the sales revenue of the firm. Both X and Y are measured in terms of millions of dollars. Now this is uh, raw data. And uh, if I uh, run the regression, this is the output of uh, uh, multiple uh, of simple linear regression model in Excel. This is the way. Uh, uh, in the upper uh, dialog box, you can see input y range, and this you have to put the range for the dependent variable. And in the input x range, you have to put the values of the independent variables. And uh, then if you click, you, uh, you get a regression output. And in the below table, you see the summary output of the regression uh, model. Now let me interpret these results for you. Before I interpret other results, uh, you can see uh, uh, row number 18 in the below table, and there are two variables. One is advertising expenditure, and uh, there is intercept also. So the intercept of this model is 7.6. Its standard error is 7.332. Its t-state is 1.200, and its significance value or p-value is 0 0.264. The coefficient for the advertising expenditure is 3.533. Its standard error is equal to 0 0.522, and its t value, t statistic is 6.765, with its significance value as 0 0.000. Now, this means that the coefficient of the intercept term is significant because it T state value is 6.765 and its T value is 0 0.0001. Now, this is highly significant. Now, if you uh, look at the output above the ANOVA, there is multiple R, 
and multiple r is equal to 0 0.9226. Now what does this show? This shows the correlation coefficient between the observed values of y and the predicted values of y. Now there is a high correlation between the actual values of y and the uh, predicted values of y. Then there is the r squared. The r squared value is equal to 0 0.85 which means that 85 percent of the variation in the sales revenue that is the dependent variable is explained by advertising expenditure. Then there is adjusted R square. This is adjusted for degrees of freedom. Now in the ANOVA table you can also see the F value which is equal to 45.76 and its P value is 0 0.001428. Now its uh, p value shows that the f state is highly significant and it shows that the overall model is uh, very significant. Now this is the regression line based on the earlier regression and uh, you see above the uh, regression line there is a estimated equation and y t hat is equal to 7.60 plus 3.53 x t which means that if the advertising expenditure are zero, then still the firm average um, sales revenue is equal to 7.6 million dollars. And uh, the coefficient of 3.53 means that if advertising expenditure increases by 1 million, then the firm's so sales revenue will increase by 3.53 million dollars. Uh, now I switch over to multiple linear regression model. In the, in the last model, you saw that there were two variables. One was sales revenue as the dependent variable. The other one was X, which was advertising. Now I introduced another variable into that uh, table, and that is uh, quality control. Now here you see there are three variables. There is advertising expenditure, which I designate as X1. Then there is quality control, and that is X2. And uh, in the last row, there is uh, sales revenue, and that is the dependent variable. Now this data is for 10 years and all these three variables are measured in terms of millions of dollars. Now if we run the regression of uh, sales revenue on advertising expenditure and quality control, then uh, the, S, the Excel output is given below. And in the below table, now there are, uh, uh, in row number 17 there is intercept, in row number 18, there is advertising expenditure, and uh, in row number 19, there is quality control. Now, the coefficient of advertising expenditure is 1.87, and its t value is uh, 2.66, and uh, its p value is uh, 0 0.032, and this p value shows that uh, the coefficient of advertising expenditure is significant at 5% level. Now, this this is this is acceptable, and it's a uh, algebraic sign is positive, which means that if advertising expenditure increases by $1 million, then the sale revenue of uh, this firm will increase by $1.87 million. Now if you look at the coefficient of quality control, the coefficient is equal to 1.915 and its P statistic is 2.81, its P value is 0 0.026 and this P value shows that the coefficient of quality control is also significant at uh, about 3 percent. So both the coefficient of these two explanatory variables are uh, significant. Uh, this result is also confirmed by the F statistics which is equal to 46.60 and uh, it's highly significant. Now the individual coefficients are significant and the F statistic is significant so it means that the overall model is uh, significant. Uh, you can also see multiple R. Now the multiple R are the co correlation coefficient between the dependent variable and the two independent variables jointly that is equal to 0 0.96 and this is very high. Uh, so it is also expressed as the correlation coefficient between the observed values of Y and the estimated or predicted values of Y. The R squared value is now 0 0.93 which means that uh, 93 percent of the variation in the sales revenue of the firm are explained by variation in two variables that is advertising expenditure and uh, quality control. So this model uh, basically explains that 93 percent of the variation 
in sales revenue is explained by x1 and x2. The adjusted uh, R square of this model is 0 0.91. Now the difference between R squared and adjusted R square is that R square is uh, unadjusted whereas adjusted R square is adjusted for degrees of freedom. So this is the uh, SPSS output of the same regression. If you run the regression uh, in SPSS, then the output will be like this. Again, the coefficient is equal to 17.9437. Uh, the coefficient of X1, that is the advertising expenditure is 1.87. And the coefficient of uh, quality control X2, that is equal to 1.91. And uh, both uh, the key values of X1 and uh, X2 show, shows that these two variables are uh, the coefficient of these two variables are significant r square is 93 percent adjusted r square is again 91 percent uh, standard error of uh, regression is 2.09 durban watson case state shows 1.54 but we are not interested in this because um, this is a uh, cross-section data and uh, in cross-section data we are not very worried so much about autocorrelation and uh, Lastly, the F statistic is uh, equal to 46.61, which shows that the overall model is um, significant. So this is uh, these are best results. Uh, this is the regression output again of uh, uh, this model, multiple linear regression model in uh, Excel, and uh, I have already uh, interpreted these results. Uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Please subscribe to the channel, like the videos, so that you can get notification when I upload uh, other videos. And after this, I will uh, uh, upload another video, and uh, that will be a little bit more explanatory. Thank you.